here near City Hall at 157 King Street West in Kitchener, standing in front of a large vinyl photograph by photographer Sean Johnston as a part of their photo series, Land Back Camp, Our Voices. The photo features two figures standing in front of Laurel Creek. They are looking directly at the viewer with arms akimbo. On the left is Amy Smoke, a co-organizer of Land Back Camp, and on their right is their child, Sky. This series of photographs highlights the two-spirit indigenous queer folk and the trans and queer settlers of Land Back Camp. The camp began in late June of 2020 in Kitchener's Victoria Park and later moved to Waterloo Park in October of 2020. Land Back Camp has expanded into a larger community and continues today in Laurel Creek Conservation Area in Waterloo. The camp creates a space for those involved to reconnect to their culture while being unapologetically indigenous. The spaces that the camp has and continues to occupy are areas that for centuries have been gathering places for the Shitanan, Ashinishane, Haudenosaunee, and Huron nations under the Dish with One Spoon Treaty. For those unfamiliar with this treaty, the principle behind it is that we all eat out of the dish with only one spoon. The dish refers to the shared territory of what is now Southern Ontario, meaning that we share the responsibility to make sure that the dish is never empty. This includes taking care of the land and the creatures we share it with. For hundreds of years, Indigenous people gathered in the places that the Land Back Camp has and continues to reclaim. The spaces were used for ceremonies, diplomacy, trading and feasting. These gathering spaces were where people could meet and where friendships could form between the local nations. This land was granted to the Haudenosaunee people in 1784 by the Governor of Quebec as compensation for their alliance with the British forces during the American Revolution. This tract of land is known as the Haldimand Tract. It runs six kilometers on either side of the Grand River and includes Waterloo Region. Since this agreement in 1784, this tract of land has been reduced to less than 5% of the original territory. The Haldimand Tract has been a source of continued dispute between Canada and the Haudenosaunee people for many years. As a result of Land Back Camp's efforts, the City of Kitchener and Waterloo has agreed to waive all fees for Indigenous events hosted in public facilities and to create ceremonial gathering spaces in Waterloo and Victoria Park. Additionally, Indigenous-led advisory committees within the municipality's governments have been formed to work with the Mayor and the City Councils in addressing topics such as racial injustice. While these changes are a step in the right direction, there is still much work to do. The artwork is intentionally installed in close proximity to Kitchener City Hall in order to visually represent and to remind people of the project's continued dialogue with the city. Sean Johnston is a co-founder and co-organizer of Land Back Camp. They are a two-spirit Ashinishani, originally from Kukaching First Nation, and are an award-winning photographer. Visit www.landbackcamp.com to learn more information about Land Back Camp and to hear how you can support them. You will also find links to their Instagram and Facebook pages to connect with them that way. Next time you're in downtown Kitchener, stop by 157 King Street West to see the installation. It'll be on view until August 31st as a part of Kafka's 2021 Biennale, Everything Not Saved Will Be Lost. Thank you for watching.